Keys. Sorry for all the noise. I'm sitting at the bus stop after just getting out of work. Um, but today, hip hop turns 45. And I just wanted to send a very happy birthday to hip hop, the number one genre in the whole entire world. That's crazy because 45 years ago, you wouldn't have been able to tell anybody that hip hop would have become the number one genre in the whole planet. Not just the United States, but everywhere. And it's just a really beautiful sentiment to what hip hop has been able to accomplish over the past 45 years. And I was fortunate enough to be able to be born into a culture where hip hop was already the norm. And I'm very grateful that my children will be able to grow up in a world where hip hop will be the norm as well. And so happy birthday, hip hop. Uh, I really love you. And I have since I was a very little child. And yeah, here's to 45 more years. So how did I personally fall in love with hip hop? Well, when I was a child, my siblings used to listen to hip hop a lot. Uh, my brother, he used to listen to hip hop and he used to go out with his friends because I have older siblings, so I'm the last of five kids. And so when I was a kid, all of my siblings were teenagers. And so when my brother would go out to hang out with his friends, I would sneak into his room and listen to whatever he had in his boom box. And at the time, he had a lot of great records, like A Tribe Called Quest, and he had The Beastie Boys, and Snoop Dogg, and Bone Thugs and Harmony, and so many great artists he was listening to at the time. And that's how I kind of fell in love. Um, my sister listened to, you know, the radio and had different hip hop albums uh, from Tupac to Biggie and everything in between. And I just grew up in a culture where hip hop was the norm and hip hop was something that I just grew to love. And, you know, thanks to my siblings, I grew to love hip hop and it stuck with me until my 20s, I'm 26 right now, and it's one of my favorite genres of all time, and I just appreciate what it's been able to accomplish, the fact that our black and brown brothers and sisters um, in the Bronx, in Harlem, in New York, were able to create this incredible, incredible art form for the disenfranchised and really make it go mainstream. I mean, the fact that we're the number one genre really floors me because I couldn't have told you, even growing up in the 90s, that we would have been the number one genre in the whole wide world. Like, they used to have to be able to play hip hop on the radio in the middle of the night because it was considered urban music and no one wanted to listen to urban music. So, you know, we had to fight our way to the top, but it's really satisfying that in 2018, we are the number one genre in this whole world. So again, I just want to give mad props to hip hop, mad props for everything that you are accomplishing, have accomplished and will accomplish in the future. And, you know, just say happy birthday and I love you. And I'm so excited to see what you can accomplish in the future, in my children's generation, in my grandchildren's generation. And yeah, I just love you. Peace. So yeah, some of my favorite hip hop artists of all time are Snoop Dogg, Common Sense, Common, uh, Beastie Boys, Old Lex and Harmony, Queen Latifah, Lauryn Hill, The Fugees, A Tribe Called Quest is my number one favorite uh, hip hop group of all time, uh, De La Soul, The Native Tongues, J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar, uh, Utes Scott Martinez. Uh, Chance the Rapper, uh, MC Light, um, who else? Um, Moni Love, um, Eve, um, who else? So, so many. Outcast, Missy Elliott, Busta Rhymes, Leaders of the New School, who else? Um, so, so many. Taleb Kweli, um, KRS-One, Wu-Tang Clan. I mean, there are so many, it's just so, 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 so many. So many, Princess Nokia, um, so many, so many. Rory, um, Jaden Smith, 
um who else just just so 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 many so so many you know it's just incredible artists over the years that have just made so many impacts in my life through their music you know LL Cool J Ice Cube you know so it's just so many Souls of Mischief you know the Gorillas even though they don't really count they're just basically De La Soul but I mean still um, just so many different artists you know and so many eclectic artists and that's something I love about hip-hop especially back in the 90s and 80s that there was just so much eclectic music coming out of hip-hop um mc hammer um slick rick dougie fresh i mean biz marquee and something i want to talk about when it comes to dougie fresh and biz marquee is that they both were incredible beatboxers and that's kind of a lost art at this point which is sad but they were incredible beatboxers and people who could really make a whole art form out of their mouths, you know, like not just being a rappers and MCs, but really making, you know, actual sounds from their mouth, from their vocal cords. And that's really, really dope. Um, so, so many different artists that I just love in the hip hop genre. And I'm just really glad that hip hop came into my life and made a profound impact on the music that I listen to and how I conduct myself really because it just really influenced the whole entire generation and culture and generations. I mean, it's influencing my nephew's generation, Generation Z, my generation, Generation Y, my sister's generation, Generation X. I mean, it's, it influences so much and so many different generations and it's beautiful and I just love hip hop so again happy birthday and much love and I just can't wait to see what you do with the future because the future is so bright so bright and of course who would I be if I don't talk about the most important and most influential things in hip hop that help to actually propel it into this mainstream culture that it is today and make it the number one genre in the world. I mean, if not for people like the Fresh Prince, DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince, and making the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, um, the TV show, and things like, you know, House Party with Kid and Play, and just so many different pieces of pop culture that became totally a part of, you know, history with hip hop because hip hop made those things cool because of you know the way that they infiltrated themselves into pop culture and now you know you see things in pop culture that wouldn't have been there otherwise because without hip-hop you don't have anything so you know you have to give kudos to people like DJ Daddy Jeff and the Fresh Prince Kid and Play and you know MC Hammer and like different artists who made it cool to like hip-hop and you know people like Run DMC who I love and like artists who really infiltrated the mainstream popular culture and made it cool to like hip hop. It wasn't just that urban music that you know black and Latino folks listen to anymore. It was part of pop culture and that's how it became so big and that's why it became the number one genre of all time right now because of the fact that we were able to infiltrate the mainstream culture. And I just love that. So I just wanted to give a shout out to those pioneers who helped to make hip hop super mainstream and cool and awesome. And yeah, if you wanna hear more about my love for hip hop and some of my favorite hip hop artists and songs and different things, you can check out my blog, iceturtlegirl.blog. And I will probably be having a blog up soon but just happy birthday hip hop and keep it up. Love you. Peace.